Hey everybody, I thought I'd just do a little video blog today on my phone. Uh, like I talked about last week, I'm on a brief hiatus, maybe a month or two, uh, due to, mostly because we're moving, a little bit, you know, because of this whole uh, virus thing. Um, and I thought about well, some of the stuff I just wanted to talk about. Uh, you know, I've had a lot of good use out of YouTube and Facebook, so, well, a little bit out of Facebook, sometimes not so much good use, but... Uh, you know, just interacting with people online, like a, a lot of people have, a lot of people I've seen are using like Zoom or S Skype or whatever to interact with some of their friends and family and whatnot online. Um, you know, from, I'll try to keep this gaming related. Uh, so, you know, one thing that I've been doing a lot of is playing on yukata.de. I'll put a link down to that in the description if you've never heard of it. It's an online board game thing. Uh, that you can play, and you can play real time, or you can play it uh, like email based, turn based. And uh, I've got several, like half a dozen games going at once um, there. And there's a lot of games. I, I think I know about like 40 of the games, give or take. Some I don't know as well as others, but I definitely recommend folks to take a look at that. I like it because it's it's turn based, and I'm working from home right now. I'm, uh, you know, this is my home office here, and. Um, so I can't always just like sit there and be glued to, you know, a screen, uh, to do that. So it's turn-based. So, but you can also just leave the screen up and Skype with somebody or whatever and talk while you play. And it's a really good interface. They use all like the board game, uh, components and stuff. And, um, a couple other things that I've seen, a lot of people are using tabletop simulator. Uh, that's not, uh, asynchronous for me, but I think like I saw somewhere their usage was up like 3000% and... You know, it does suck not being able to go and sit face to face with gamers like that. Like you always kind of say like, that's really the most important part of the games is in the games and mechanics and whatnot. It's cool. But, um, you know, having the people there and your friends and your family around to talk smack to and, you know, engage with in all different kinds of ways with the games is the really the most important part. Like I had to miss out so far on um, at least one family game night, you know, I go over to my folks and we play there and they're elderly and stuff. And, uh, you know, there's some issues of immunocompromisation, uh, is that a word? Anyway, so we had to be careful there. And then I missed out on the game night uh, last week or whatever it was with uh, time is starting to like, whew, you know, uh, you know, with my group uh, we play at the comic book shop there in Spokane, uh, across the border there, and uh, you know, so we miss out on that stuff. And but being able to play in Yucata, mostly with that Thursday night group who I've been playing with, has been nice. Um, you know, I definitely recommend folks take a look at that stuff. I'm sure like anybody watching this channel probably has already thought about that if they haven't already used it. Uh, one cool thing I saw was in the local game stores. Uh, like a group of them uh, are sort of, uh, they formed a Facebook group, which I joined and uh, they're doing like a slow grow league for miniatures. Cause a lot of miniature gaming companies uh, or stores, you know, in the area. And they did a slow grow league, which typically is like one of those things where you get like a start collecting box or some kind of starter box for your game. And then you build it and paint it and you maybe play a game with it. And then next month, you buy like an extra like booster or army unit or something to kind of slowly grow up to a thousand point or 2000 point or whatever game uh, you have They slow grow that. So they're just doing that remotely because the beginning of that stuff is usually like, you know, building and painting and stuff. So there's been a great uh, Facebook uh, page, you know, dedicated to that. And so people are still trying to support uh, the local stores you know, going out and so they've done like, the stores have basically done like curbside DoorDash pickup for stuff. They've shut down the gaming areas and like magic tournaments aren't happening. There's no miniature gaming and stuff like that going on, but you can go show up and then like pick something up. Like if you were to go to uh, a restaurant locally, at least in this area, I live in Idaho, you know, the restaurants are still doing, the dining rooms are closed, but they're still doing food pickup. So the same principle there. They haven't put us here in full lockdown where you can't, you know, those businesses will shut down. So we'll see if and when that does happen. But yeah, so I think, you know, people are creative. They'll maybe come up with different ways to get around that, hopefully safely. I mean, 
like I said, I'll try to keep this game related. There's a lot of, you know, it's, it's like, it's a, it's a weird, tough position for people. Everybody should be safe. You know, just to sort of tangent for a second, uh, you know, like my wife and I've been taking our dog for walks every day, twice a day. And, you know, we go to a park and there's other people walking their dogs and stuff. And I know in Spokane or Washington, they shut down the parks, which is just shutting down the playgrounds from what I understand it, which makes perfect sense because those things are like germ <laughs> attraction. I mean, anyway, forget any kind of uh, COVID-19, you know, just getting the flu or cold for kids or passing it to their parents. It's just, those playgrounds are just cesspools <laughs> of germs. Uh, but taking a walk, I mean, you gotta be able to do that. Just keep your, your own personal space and you'll be fine. Uh, so we've been doing that stuff. So I definitely recommend, I really want to stress people get out and take a walk if you can. I mean, I know in some urban areas that's, that's going to be tricky, but, uh, if you can get out and do some, get, if the sun's, especially if the sun's out, it's nice. It's just good for you every, every way. Um, the other thing that I wanted to mention, um, was, uh, yeah, I think that was it. Um, but you know, I saw a video for, uh, by Ignacy Trevichek from Portal Games earlier today, and you could tell he was, he was feeling it. And I think a lot of folks in the board game industry and the hobby are feeling it because, you know, like I talked about the whole social aspect is such a huge part of it and just the whole ecosystem, you know, the games have been, the games mostly come from China, which was where this thing started. And so that disruption there has disrupted the flow of the games and the manufacturing of the games. And, you know, the other side of that coin is like the conventions like Gen Con and maybe Essen and maybe or Origins and maybe all these conventions like the UK Games Expo was postponed, I believe, until August, end of August. So the UK Games Expo will actually be after Gen Con if Gen Con does happen. And so the social interaction of that side of it and the ability for a publisher to go and if they even have Gen Con, do they go to Gen Con? Do they have a game because the manufacturing has been delayed? So why would you even really want to go? Because you won't have a new game to sell that knows, you know, people are going to want. And then does Gen Con even happen? And so I think, um, I just want to express this out there. I don't know who watches this or whatever, but, uh, and I always feel like sometimes I ignore uh, what publishers and designers have to say because I'm doing like a review thing but like I really appreciate it you know I try to be like have integrity <laughs> so I try not to be too friendly you know sometimes um, just so I can keep a distance a little bit but uh, this is supposed to be positive I think it's okay to be a little bit emotional, it's all right. But uh, I think we're gonna we're gonna pull through this fucking shit anyway. <laughs> so um, yeah, so I just I, I I hear it, I feel it, you know what I mean. So I I want everybody to make it through, you know, health wise and business wise and all that stuff. And I want people to have a livelihood and everything. So anyway, so I just wanted to you know reach out and you know Ignacy expressed it, and I I know other people are feeling the stress. And that stuff and I think it's good like just get on Yucata find stupid stuff to watch on on YouTube and uh, take a walk you know and just and I think everybody's kind of coming through it so I've been you know we've been on lockdown or whatever from work now for just over a week and uh, my wife's works on lockdown and everything so uh, I think the better we do with this you know no matter what your perspective on how what how what this is or how big it is or how deadly it is and all that stuff nobody knows I you know healthcare people know I know they know um, so either way it sucks no matter how you look at this it sucks we're gonna come out on the other side of it and there's gonna be you know we're gonna be getting back to gaming and conventions and having game groups and all that stuff so just wanted to try to send a positive vibe out. If you're feeling shitty, you know, then feel free to let it out. You know what I mean? That's going to help you too. And uh, seek solace in your friends and family and, and, and anybody else if you need to see professional help or anything. You know, seek that too if you can. And uh, anyway, take care of yourselves. And maybe I'll do another one next week. But uh, I know personally for me, I've felt a lot of pressure, you know, coming down. And the last couple of days, I've kind of come out the other side of it. Um, so...
you can come out of here. So, okay, thanks everybody.